hub staff time tracking tutorial hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you about hub staff and how you can use it to track time and, and basically going over all its features so without wasting any more of your time let's just jump into the video so the first thing that i want you guys to do is come over to hubstaff.com now once you're over here all you have to do is just simply sign up so to sign up, all you have to do is click on the free trial button over here, as you can see, or you can enter in your name, your email address and password, and then just simply create an account. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the free trial over here. Now, once I'm over here, all I have to do is just enter in my full name, my email address, password, my password, agree to the terms and services and click on create an account. So I'm going to go ahead and create an account and I'm going to catch you guys in a little bit. So as you can see over here, I have signed up and now I have to go ahead and verify my email address. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So over here, as you can see, this is the email that they sent me. All I have to do is just simply click on confirm my account and wait a couple of seconds so that it can redirect me over to this staff over here. So over here, as you can see, I have two options. So I'm a business owner or I'm a team member. So basically, I can choose whichever one I want but if i am a team member i can join an existing organization or if i'm a business owner i can create a new organization so let's go ahead and create a new organization uh, and then we have in an office in a field or f office and field so let's go ahead and click on in an office and over here i have to enter in the name of my organization the industry that i work in the team size and then i have to enter in the invite a manager and then I have an option of inviting members. So all I have to do is enter in the email addresses and then just simply click on continue. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in my name of the organization. I'm going to call it test run. And then I'm going to select the size of my team two to 10. And then my industry is basically digital marketing or let's just call it uh freelancing yeah and then all i have to do is enter in the email address i'm gonna go ahead and invite myself invite my other uh, email address so that you guys have a better understanding now i have to select what i want to do with hubstaff so i have to monitor desktop activity approve timesheet uh, submit expenses send and receive invoices schedule shifts and times off pay my team and stuff like that uh, i'm gonna go ahead and skip for now and now over here as you can see we have our two projects over here so we have a project's name over here so we have virtual assistant and we have social media and we can go ahead and add other projects as well over here so let's just stick with these two for the sake of this video so guys so that you guys can understand it basically this is just a tutorial you guys can add other project names as you want depending upon your need of course so let's just go ahead and click on continue so over here we have to choose a package so over here for time and then we have desk and then we have field so let's go ahead and choose the time one simple time tracking for all team members and sizes so this is the one that we want this is the one that we prefer so over here as you can see we'll choose this one over here so this one over here which is called time starter so it's seven dollars per user per month so starts at 14 dollars includes two users so in this package we have time tracking time sheets reports limited payments one integration 24 hour support and per user setting so i think this one looks good let's go ahead and click on choose timer and over here we have to enter in our details card number card name uh, expiration date cvv cvc and postal code and stuff like that so i'm going to go ahead and fill this out and i'll catch you guys in a little bit so as you can see over here my free trial has started and over here we have to select features and create projects we can do that later um, i basically went back and chose different settings so that i have to pay less for now so for the sake of this video but you can choose whichever one you want so over here as you can see this is our dashboard this is how it is going to be so over here on the left side we have dashboard we have timesheets we have project management reports people and financials and stuff like that so over here in front of us we have monitor desktop activity approve timesheets submit expenses send and receive invoices schedule shifts and times off and pay teams and stuff like that we can go ahead and skip for now as i said before um and then down below we have our projects over here we have admin and bookkeeping so th that's how it looks like 
So over here in front of the dashboard, let's go ahead and go over to our dashboard real quick. So no thanks. So this is how it looks like. So over here, we're going to have work this week, spent this week, project works. We have members over here. We have projects over here. The to-do lists are going to be over here. And then we have the budget for each project over here. And it's pretty simple. It's really easy. And then we have widgets over here as well. So we can choose which widgets that we want. We can show all of these widgets over here. So we have work today as well. Let's go ahead and add that. So as you can see over here, project works and work today. This one has added right now. And we can go ahead and track these times as well. So let's go ahead and click on time track. And we can select the project that we want. Let's go ahead and select admin and select a to-do list. So add a to-do. So over here, enter in, let's just say in admin, let's just write So over here we've added check up on team members and then we're going to add an assignee to it let's go ahead and click on that and then just simply click on save so the time is over here and we have started it over here and all we have to do is just simply click on this button over here so as you can see the time has started and we can move this window around anywhere we can minimize it as well so as you can see over here as the person is working his time is going to be tracked over here we can let's just move it down below so that it's out of the view so as you can see the time is tracking and it'll take different screenshots after different intervals and some that is actually working on the project is actually working it or not he's not wasting your time or anyone else's time and that he's actually working it's pretty simple it's really easy like it's really good and then over here at the top we also get a view of it as well and stuff like that so let's just go ahead and close it pause this timer right now so as you can see the time has been running for about 55 la yeah let's just pause it right here for one minute and three seconds so the timer has been running for one minute and 53 seconds so over here on the left side let's go ahead and click on time sheets maybe it'll show us as well so over here as you can see this is the time that has been worked over here we'll get a different time sheet as you can see and over here different members are going to get different uh time sheets and they're going to be working on different projects so over here as you can see today we have worked one minute and three seconds and over here we have the time over here as you can see we when we hover our mouse over the that certain period of time we get what that person has been doing so this one is the project name the admin and then down below this was the project this was the task check up on teams so as you can see it's set over here so different projects will have different numbers so if we go back over to our dashboard let's go ahead and click on work this week as you can see we can add more time and remove as well so if we go over here work this week click on it click on add time <clears throat> we can add time as you can see over here this is going to be our schedule of the week let's go ahead and click on add time and over here we can select the project for admin for to do we're going to add check up on team and then over here we're going to add from 12 a.m to 3 a.m and we're going to save and down and then down below we have why are you adding this extra time uh, we can say that we forgot to start the timer or that we had a technical difficulty because of that it took more time and stuff like that we can add different notes and then once we have done that we can click on save so let's just go ahead and enter in a forgot to start timer click on save as you can see we have worked three hours in this one day we can go back to our dashboard uh sorry time sheet once we're back over here we can see that this is the time that we have worked over here from 12 a.m to 3 p.m and if we you know go back over onto our dashboard we can add different projects as well so over here 
in the to-do list we can add more in the to-do list we can add more tasks as well like over here let me just go ahead and do that for you in a little bit so over here in the to do's we can add more to do so over here let's just enter in edit this video and then over here in assignee we can assign that person let's go ahead and enter save and let's go ahead and enter another one we can write check the video click on save uh, select the assignee and then click on save and now we have these different events we have these different tasks now we can go back to our dashboard and over here we can add different times as well so over here let's just simply click on add time and over here in the in second day we can add bookkeeping uh, we can add admin and we can add check the vi we can add edit the video so in edit the video it takes quite some time so we'll say that so we'll say that from 12 a.m from 12 a.m to 3 p.m from 12 p.m to 3 p.m we have been editing video uh for got and then just simply click on save so now when we go back to our timesheet over here we can see we have two tasks over here so edit this video and then we have check the team so reasons for god over here this is billable and it's pretty simple so it's really easy to use it's really user friendly so as you can see it's pretty simple all you have to do is create an account add your team members and then create different tasks and then assign them to different tasks and then just simply track your time and then just sit back relax and then just simply manage your team remotely so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye